Today I'm going to show you an animation script created by this person. It supports QB, ESX, and standalone options and comes with over 1,000 animations. With those, you have group and synced animation options, previews, and an option to place them. There are also custom weapon styles and options for pointing, putting your hands up, crouching and crawling, holstering, and disabling combat rolling and leaning. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and watch the creator's preview. I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're there, you can watch the preview, browse images, and check the supported frameworks and pricing. Below that, you'll find the description, documentation, and requirements. Oxlip is a dependency, so make sure you have that installed properly. If and once you purchase, go to your Keymaster and to the Granted Assets section, find the animation script, and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources, then add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. It must start after your framework and Oxlip. Next, open the documentation and on the first page, there's general information about where to find the animation list, adding more animations, and changing the color of the menu. The installation tab goes over the steps that were just done. The features tab explains the purpose of the guide, and the exports and events tab provide information to integrate the menu with other resources. The last tab has information on adding animations if you've used DP or RP emos before and an animation template. There's a lot of helpful information in here, so read through if you need to. I'll move on to the configuration of the menu. So go back to the resource and open the config. The first option is the framework you're using. With this set to auto, it'll be detected. You can also manually input one of the options in the commented out text. Next are options for the language and using Discord logs. The commented out text tells you where to set up the webhooks. Then there are keybinds for opening the menu, canceling emotes, and the emote command, followed by an option to disarm players when doing an animation. Next is an option to enable placing animations, freezing when placing them, and the distance and max height for placing them. Then there's the max group distance and a timeout for animation requests. Below that are options to use the custom gun styles and disable the idle camera when doing the animations. Next, you can share saved data between characters or make them character specific. If you don't want it to be character specific, change true to false. Then there are custom animations that are already set up. If you purchase the animations below, uncomment them to use them. Next are animations that can't be used in vehicles. In a blacklist sim, you'd add the animation name, like the example shown in the commented out text. Then there are animal ped models and options to enable or disable the modules. I'm going to enable all of them, go through and change it to your liking. Next are the weapons that can be used with the custom weapon styles, followed by the categories of the menu. In the last section are the placeable types. If you make changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one servers is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. You can use the command slash E with the animation name, or use the keybind to open the menu. At the top, you can search for animations, and as you start typing, they narrow down. When you hover over them, there's a preview, an option to set it as a favorite in the command name. You can also set a keybind for it by clicking where it says none, then holding shift and selecting a key. Once you do that, you have options to confirm, clear, or cancel. Next, the searching is the group feature, which I'll show shortly, and the ability to filter through them. Each have a preview and the options mentioned before. If you have placing the animations enabled, once you right click, it'll bring up the menu with controls at the bottom. So use Q and Z to move it up and down. G to place it on the ground and the scroll wheel to rotate. You can also press escape to cancel it. 
Once you have the position you like, press E to place and the pad will walk over. And do the animation. The gun styles can be found here. There are three to choose from, so I'll choose gang. Then pull out a gun and aim. The holstering is one of the options available in the module, so I'll go ahead and show that again. There are also options for pointing, putting your hands up, ragdolling, crouching, and crawling. And with the crawling, press spacebar to turn over. And then right control to get up. The last two of those options are disabling combat rolling and leaning. So if I take the gun out, I can no longer combat roll. And the leaning prevents taking cover. When you go to the group section, there's information about what it does, and it shows the people in your group and nearby players. When you click the plus next to the name of a nearby player, they get a message to accept the invitation. Once they accept, it lets you know. And if you go to the animations and choose one, you're now synced. You can remove them by going back to the group section and clicking the X. In the shared section, you click one, and once they accept, the animation will play. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.